Alrighty, everybody. Um, I had to try this again because when I tried it about 30 seconds ago, it didn't really work out too well. Uh, but the Dallas Renegades won the second game of the season, and I feel so happy. Um, even though we did not get off to a good start, we started off slow once again, and then the running game went at it, went ham in the second half. Cameron Artis Payne went ham in the second half. He went on tear. Him and Lance Dunbar, that was absolutely beautiful. You know, we, when we get everything rolling, Landry Jones not turning the ball over, even though he threw like two interceptions, and there was also a bunch of turnovers in this game as well. Um, just kind of, ugh, tight play. Um, but um, Seattle never really got anything going, especially in the second half. <laughs> and, you know, it was just, um, yeah, it was just that. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. The Renegades are taking on Houston next week. And speaking of Houston, um, down there in Tampa Bay, um, Tampa Bay's home opener, 18,000 were there. It's probably going to be a little bit lower next week when they take on D.C. Um, but uh, it was not the, not the greatest way to open because, I mean, Tampa Bay lost again. Uh, but it was a good game, though. Um, Houston, you know, Cam Phillips caught three touchdowns for P.J. Walker. What else can you expect? That connection is just fire. That connection is beautiful. And, uh, yeah, man, it is hard to believe that, you know, the Roughnecks are 3-0. <laughs> hard to believe that. We didn't think that. We all didn't really think that coming in, but here we are. So, um, yeah, um, but what else happened today? There's more stuff that happened today. Well, not really too much more to cover on the XFL front, to be completely honest, but what else happened today? What else happened? Let me tell you, Kansas Baylor. I totally for this, I forgot that this was a one versus three matchup. I forgot to even talk about it again. I didn't make a weekend preview this week, so that's unfortunate. So we're doing some college basketball recapping right now. And who had the audacity to put this game at 11 a.m.? I don't care. Stop doing this to the Big 12, man. Big 12 has absolutely beautiful teams out there that are, you know, getting those top seeds. That are probably getting those top seeds in the tournament. Baylor and Kansas especially. But to have this game at 11 a.m., and who who do they have right now? Um, let me check the let me check the schedule real quick. Let me check the schedule, cause I know, cause I know something stupid is on right now. Um, speaking of speaking of stupid things, it's a little bit too late um, for the Longhorns, but we did beat Kansas State. It's a little bit too late to be completely honest. I don't know where in the world UCLA came from, but they just they just beat Colorado. I really don't know where they came from. They started winning. Yeah, it's Florida and Kentucky that's supposed to be on right now. And LSU, South Carolina on ESPN2. Don't even care. Um, those are SEC games. Don't even care. There's only like three or four SEC teams making it in the tournament anyway. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing else really happening here. I mean, yeah, there's an Oregon-Arizona game later on on ESPN. But, um, ugh. This game, yeah, right now, um, look at the so many scores, you know, from right now. Um, Virginia's won against Pittsburgh, barely. Uh, Florida State beat NC State, so that'll take NC State down a little bit further when I talk about them uh, during on Wednesday. Um, I'll take them down a little bit further as far as tournament hopes goes, unfortunately. Um, Auburn, they continue to win. Um... Louisville just beat the bricks off of North Carolina. North Carolina is not looking too good this year. They're not even going to the tournament. I don't think they're going to the NIT. Uh, so, um, and um, as far as um, other things goes, not too much really else to say here. Not really too much at all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, TCU beat West Virginia at that really... Floats your boat, but uh, man, I'm still 
I'm actually pissed that I missed the matchup because it was so early and I didn't get, you know, a good amount of sleep last night. Uh, woke up, it was like 1 o'clock already, and I was disinterested in the Tampa Bay game at first, but then, you know, once Tampa Bay started scoring and stuff like that, they, I was like, okay, let me grab my tacos and stuff real quick. Let's get back up in here. Let's watch this dang game. Um, but, yeah. Crazy, crazy time. Um, checking out some things here, especially for this Kansas uh, Baylor game. You know, Azubuki was probably doing some just, just uh, yeah, 23 points, 19 rebounds. Good lord, man. I wish I, I could watch this game. I honestly wish I could have. That is the beauty of you know, college basketball in a nutshell. So, I'm pretty sure somebody's probably going to ask who's the number one seed now. Um, maybe it could be Kansas. Maybe it could be Baylor. But if it's Gonzaga or San Diego State, I don't really mind. Because, I mean, uh, unless Kansas and Baylor meet in the tournament again, uh, in the Big 12 tournament again, you know, somewhere down the line, um, I think one of those two teams will be the number one seed anyway. Um, but Zaga is really, really close. Um, they're playing BYU later on, I think. Yeah, they are. They are playing BYU later on. You know, I can't remember things, but uh, but uh, yeah. So XFL stuff happened. Week three is starting to come a little bit close to being over. And we're halfway there as far as that goes. And then college basketball is getting interesting. There's the NBA in about 30 minutes or so. So I'm going to get ready for that. And you guys are the Billy BPs. We'll see you guys tomorrow when we recap the rest of the XFL games and the um, and the NBA games as well. So we're gonna, there's not really much as far as college basketball goes tomorrow, I don't think. There's nothing really interesting on that day anyway, I don't think. So we're just going to call it a night here because the big the big matchup already happened. And speaking of big matchups, um, Kentucky beat Florida. So there you go, unfortunately. Ugh. Went quickly at 20, 26. Good Lord, man. Ugh. That, that, me whining over Kentucky is another thing for another day. So we'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow um, after the XFL games and stuff like that. And y'all take care. Have a good night.